Good morning. Welcome to Toilet Tiger Radio. This is Jess Dodd and um, my show I have here on TTR. Um, starting out with some current information. Um, the girls basketball team actually won the ECC Small Division Championship recently. They went um, undefeated in the ECC Small until last night. Um, they actually had their senior night in which Myself and Deanna Lazara and Alia Blondie were honored for being seniors, and um, we played St. Bernard at home, in which we lost by one. But it was a great game, and we had a great crowd, so thank you to all who came out. Um, I really appreciated it being a senior. It, uh, it felt good being, being honored. I've been looking forward to that night for years, so. And it just took like three years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're you standing. Just kidding, hey for Allie. This is a very good <laughs> Yeah, well. <laughs> we all did that. <laughs> good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to uh, tonight's senior night for the Turtle Lot Girls basketball team. Um, before we begin, I'd like to recognize St. Bernard's Long Senior, Caitlin Burkle. Um, and tonight, for our seniors, we have three seniors who've been a part of the program and uh, really brought the program up to from where it was. Our first senior, I'd like to announce Deanna Lazara and her mom, Lori. Give me a hug. Got a girl. Out to the center for pictures. Our next senior, Allie Blondie, with her dad John and grandparents Lorraine and Bob. And our last senior is Jess Dodd with her mom and dad, James and Lisa, and her brother, Joshua. your brother's face. And these are your 2014-2015 seniors. They were great ride. Can you guys get in one line? Yeah. I think they want you in there too. Here we go. Thank you. You're listening to TTR, Turtle Lot Tiger Radio. I'm your DJ, Timothy Henry, best middle name ever, Chisholm. I'm going to be playing some music and talking about some important news today. Fun fact, the last full week that we had was way back in December. It's kind of uh, shocking to think about when it comes up. It's uh, Chiesa with Hideaway right here on TTR. Turn on Tiger Radio. When we come back, we're going to talk about TNT. I'll be there. Will you? It's supposed to snow again. Well, Friday we actually have a half day, so if they do end up, well, calling it off or giving us a delay because of the snow, I have a feeling instead of, you know, delaying and then having the little part of the half day, they'll probably just make us go the second half of the day. They did that one time before. What? Yeah. Do you remember that? No. Yeah. It's what was ridiculous. it like? It was a while ago. Maybe it was just last year. I don't know, but it definitely happened. Made me pretty mad. Hmm. I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't go. Yeah, I probably wouldn't come. I, I'd take the day off. Be, if we're set up to have, say, be in school from 7.30 to 
They schedule for 11.30 to 2.10? No, I ain't going. <laughs> There's other things that's a lot better that I could be doing, like sleeping or... Hey, did you know that we have Monday and Tuesday off? I did. I didn't know that. I'm just reading this paper right now. It says we have Monday and Tuesday off. Monday's President's Day or yes. something like that. It's actually George Washington's birthday, I think. I'm looking at my phone. President's so, Day. Yeah. <laughs> and the last full week of school was in December. It's now February, so it's kind of ridiculous. But it's also pretty cool because, I mean, who wants a full week of school? Let's be real here. I don't think anybody in their right mind would. Hey. Well, hello. Hi. Happy Thursday, everyone. It's, it's Wednesday. Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Uh -huh. I, I was testing you guys. No. Yes, you can oh. <laughs> Um. So, yeah, the first thing we're going to talk about is a Goodwill shopper who spent 58 cents on a $20,000 Vince Lombardi jacket. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, in uh, North Carolina, a Goodwill store came across an old jacket, like, nobody, like, really knew anything about it, mm -hmm. so they just put it up in the store, and this other guy, it doesn't say his name here, oh, yeah, Sean McAvoy, um, he was shopping in, from, he's from Tennessee, he was shopping in North Carolina, and he fought, saw this old jacket, he bought it for 58 cents to sell in his own store, but he was watching a documentary on Vince Lombardi, and found out that the jacket happened to be the one that he wore, and it's just, it's really famous, I don't know anything about this, so, um, um, they have the jacket, and it belongs to a veteran head coach, cool, that, yeah, Talk about Hall of Fame head coach, yeah, Hall of Fame head coach, oh, wow. and cool. when they had it appraised, it came out to be around $20,000 worth of jacket, talk about a good deal, Fifty-eight cents. Heck yeah. <laughs> Got a profit out of that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. Okay. All right. So, um, John Stewart from the Daily Show. Um, he's a yeah. guy from the he's Daily the Show. show. Um, Comedy Central. Yeah, he's been there since 1999, and he decided to leave. What? Yeah. My dad loves him. He's, he's really upset about this. He's um. Yeah, I don't even know who he is, but he says that um, he's going to miss it a lot, like being on TV, but it was time to go. 99? Wow. Yeah, since 99. He is a 99. I know, but... Oh. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> um, yeah. I can only imagine how Comedy Central is going to stay afloat now after losing both Colbert, the Colbert Report, and The Daily Show. We can only hope. We can only hope. Jon Stewart... Your time is now. So I'm going to wake you up on this wonderful Wednesday morning, 2015. Strawy XCX. Boom clap right here on TTR. Turtle Lot, Tiger Radio. Socks, he's going to leave it. NBC News suspends Brian Williams for six months because, in, because he... Like on air, it explains inappropriate um, report on Iraq in the war, and he's suspended. Um, for how many weeks? Six. Six months. Oh, six months without pay. Yeah, was that without pay? Dang it. It's a five million dollar loss. Five million dollar loss. That's so that is not. Is that is that true? Wow. He makes five million dollars in six months. Oh, oh my, my god. Goodness, that's, hey. wait, hang on, hang on, let me just, okay. You actually know what this up now. <laughs> I want to look at this. Yeah, yeah, that's it, okay, yeah, I do know who this is. Wait, let me see. It's this guy. Oh, that guy. I know who that is. He, yeah, okay, yeah, wow. he's like the really famous news reporter. Okay. Five million dollars in six months? I wish I made that much money. Same. <laughs> I wish I made money in general, <laughs> but I don't have a job. <laughs> Five million dollars in six months. Oh my gosh. That's no, crazy. I was like, if I could make that money. I never make that money, ever. I won't make that much money Go if I don't know. Go then you'll make it. Apparently. I don't know. No, well, well, think about it. Like, if you Brian continue Williams with continue. the radio stuff that you want to do, you could end up an anchor, or you could actually, the people that do, like, all the 
audio mixing and stuff for those shows actually make more money than the anchors do. Yeah, you so. know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um, take Brian Williams' job for the next six months. <laughs> and just make five, five million dollars on set. I won't have to work another day in my life. Six months that's it. I think that'd be a really good plan. <laughs> that's a good plan. Yeah, just take Brian Williams' job. The, the winds change. And just like that, I disappear. Well, it's been a wonderful time uh, playing music for you today. Unfortunately, my shift is over in just about mm, 30 seconds. So I get to get out of here before I'm late to my next class. And I hope you had a wonderful time listening. Coming up next, Tim Heath and his band of fools. But until then, he's going to be in here for a while before he can talk. It's Stairway to Heaven, right here on TTR Turtle Tiger Radio.